Hello children, welcome to Sunday Club. I hope you've been enjoying our stories from last week and all the activities and the craft and the song. The wise man built his house upon a rock. The wise man built his house upon a rock. The wise man built his house upon a rock and the rains came tumbling down. The rains came down as floods came up. The rains came down as floods came up. The rains came down as floods came up and the house on the rock stood firm. The foolish man built his house upon the sand. The foolish man built his house upon the sand. The foolish man built his house upon the sand. And the rains came tumbling down. The rains came down and the floods came up. The rains came down and the floods came up. The rains came down and the floods came up. And the house on the sand went splash. So build your house on the Lord Jesus Christ. So build your house on the Lord Jesus Christ. So build your house on the Lord Jesus Christ. And the blessings will come down. The blessings come down as the prayers go up. The blessings come down as the prayers go up. The blessings come down as the prayers go up. So build your house on the Lord. Hey, don't be a foolish man. Hey, don't be a foolish man. Build your house on the Lord. Amen. This is the story Jesus used to explain to the disciples what he meant by I am the way, the truth. And if you listen to me, you will be like a man who built his house on a solid rock and has a good foundation so here we go there were these two brothers they were old enough and they had become adults and had to go and build their own houses and start their life they both had the same amount of money the same amount of material to go wherever they like and choose and build their houses wherever they like one thought hard and said well I've got this house I've got to build it and it's got to last for a long long time and he decided to go and build his house on top of a hill far right at the, right at the top where it would be difficult for people to get to but at least strong it was hard work he dug the hole and he built this house and then the second one went first place he found think oh I'll have an easy life I'll build my house here he did not stop to think about what the space was like what the materials was like he just built his house he was happy it was beautiful then as they started living in their houses the big rain came a big flood this is basically saying big troubles of life came the house that was built on the sand Got blown and washed away by the flood when they picked her and her away. And he was so sad he didn't know what to do. So he ran to his brother who had built his house up on the mountains. And the brother said, Okay, come in. And they went into that house together. The rain came. It was a huge rain, but the house did not fall down. And they were able to live in this house nice and it was safe and they were kept together. So that's what Jesus meant by if you listen to me and do what I say, then you're like that man who was sensible and wise, made the right decision to build his house on a rock.
But if you hear what I say and you don't do what I say, like you don't do what the Bible says and says how that's how to live, you're like that foolish man who makes the wrong decisions or makes silly decisions and take the easy way out but always ends up in trouble. So basically, take the advice of your parents and your adults and when you read the Bible, it's actually teaching you something. The Bible is a way of God talking to us all the time. If we listen and take on board what we read in the Bible and advice from our parents and our adults, you will find that we will always be able to make the right decisions in life. Today you've been learning about where the wise man built his house and it was on the rock. Well, today we're going to do a memory verse and we're going to uh, need a pencil and a rubber, just in case we make a mistake. We need some colour felt tip pens and a four piece of paper. What the memory verse says today is, I am the truth and the life no one comes to the father except through me right we're going to write our letters now for our scripture so we're writing the letter j for jesus go up and around and then we're going to draw our letter e s u S. So the scripture says, Jesus said, I am the way, the truth and the life. No one comes to the Father except through me. And then you can decorate your picture. And I've drawn a picture of me at the bottom. Can you see me? And I'm pointing up to the sky. That, that is pointing up to our Heavenly Father. Hello children, it's Auntie Jenny. We're going to do some craft. Today, you need a piece of paper and a pair of scissors. Okay, first of all, you need to fold your top corner over like this. And then you need to fold this corner over to here. Ah, that looks a bit like a house, doesn't it? We're in lockdown at the moment, so a lot of people are just staying in their houses and only going out for a walk occasionally. I wonder how we can get to heaven from our house. If we turn this over and fold it in half, and then turn it back like this, and fold it again like this, we have an aeroplane. If we throw it, it'll probably go quite far. Can you get to heaven in an aeroplane? No, I don't think so. Now we're going to cut down here. You might want to ask your mum or dad to do this for you. And then cut a triangle at the end. Okay, we have a rocket now. Can you get to heaven in a rocket? No, even if you're a really clever person and you can travel in a rocket, you can't get to heaven in a rocket. Jesus says the only way to heaven is through him. He is the way, the truth and the life. And if we unfold this rocket, 
it gives us a cross. Jesus died on the cross for our sins and he is the only true way to heaven. You can write your memory verse on the cross. It's John 14 verse 6. I am the way, the truth and the life. No one can come to the Father except by me. Now let us pray. We're going to clasp our hands and close our eyes and we'll say the prayer. Dear God, thank you for the story Jesus told about the two houses. Thank you that we can trust Jesus because he is your son. Thank you that Jesus' words are a good foundation for our lives and that we can always trust what Jesus says. Amen. Amen. Thanks for watching everyone. See you next week and don't forget God's always with you. Bye.